Hi, this is Benedict, and we're going to be going through how to set up GMYs to work with the recently released Game Maker Studio version 2.3. Okay, so when I recently tried using GMYs on a Game Maker Studio 2.3 project, um, it was a little bit different to before because it's quite a big update. So I've what I've done is I've gone and updated the manual that you can find when you originally download GMYs. So let's jump right into the manual, which I've very slightly updated. So first of all, I've changed the version which, uh, of Ys that you want to have. This is the latest version that definitely runs with GMYs and Game Maker Studio, which you can also find through the Ys launcher. So if we have a look here, in the Ys tab, you can see which versions we got installed already. And if we want to have a look at the 2016 versions, go to all... 2016.2, the latest ones, and there's only one option. So this is the one that we want to use, and I've already got it installed. Next up, let's have a look at setting up the WISE project. So if we go down here, an important note for GMS 2.3, this is what I've added to the manual. Essentially, when I tried creating a fresh WISE project and um, you know, running it with a Game Maker 2.3 project, I just could not get it to work. I was constantly getting errors in the profiler saying that the selected media was not available, even though the events were working fine. Everything seemed to be okay. It just I couldn't get my head around this one error. So what I found helped, and I can't fully explain why, I'm afraid, but I just took the, um, the simple, no, the sample project from GMYs that you download from the, uh, the repo here, which we started off on. I took the sample project and just copied it and use that as my base. And whatever settings and stuff in there that I haven't found just yet that make a difference, this will work if you use this as your base. So essentially, let's say I want to create a new WISE project. So I've got GMYS developed. This is just the folder which I've downloaded from this repo. And I want to go in here, take the sample project, sample WISE project. This is the folder that I want. So I'm going to take a copy of this. If we have a look inside, we can see that it's just the whole normal WISE folder structure. And here's the actual WISE project file. So I've taken a copy of this and I'm going to put this in the place where I usually put my WISE projects for the purposes of this video. Let's just say it's this folder here and let's paste it. And then what do I want to rename it? Let's rename it GMWISE test GMS 2.3. That'll do for now. And I'm going to copy this name because not only do I want to rename this, I also want to rename the actual project file. Cool. Now though, if you want it to appear in the WISE launcher with the correct name, you'll have to edit this file in a text editor. So if you go to open with and open it with something like notepad or, um, well, Visual Studio Code, that will do the job. So a very quick look. And on the fourth line, we'll see we have project name GMY simple. So this is what we want to replace. This was the same name that the folder and the actual project file had in the first place. So make sure they've all got the same consistent name. Save it, close it, done. Cool, so if I were to open this now, if it doesn't open just by double clicking it, you can go into the WISE launcher and you know open project after choosing the correct version, of course. And the title should be test GMS 2.3. Here it is, test GMS 2.3. And it has got, of course, it's got the um, sound effects from the, the sample project in here, which we don't actually need, but there are very few. So it's almost a blank slate for us to work with. And then if we have a look in projects, GMYs test GMS 2.3. And if we hadn't changed it in the, um, the text editor, then it would still come up as GMY is simple, which would just get very confusing after a while. Cool. Let's have a look at the game maker side of things. So here we are, I've got a fresh project. I haven't added anything like the, um, the sound controller objects or whatever, because it's all in the manual and it's all pretty self-explanatory. And I've added this little section here for Game Maker Studio 2.3 only. So first of all, we're going to download the GMYs package from YoYo Games website. Originally, 
if you go to marketplace, an open marketplace, it would open it up within the program, but that doesn't happen anymore, but not to worry. So when here, we will search for the GMI's package, download for Studio 2. Okay, and once we've got it downloaded, we'll go back into Game Maker, and in Tools, we will import local package. So here it is. I've downloaded it into here, open, and import the whole thing. Add all, import. There we are. So the extension is now here. But where are we going to put our sound banks once they're generated by WISE? According to the manual, um, we want to put them in the included files section. And before, it was in here somewhere, but now it's hiding up in this menu here. So included files. And we've got data files. And if we have a look here in the, um, this is my Game Maker project folder, data files here corresponds directly to this. So in here, we want to put a folder called sound, then a folder called banks, and then folders for whatever platforms we're building to. So we can't do it directly in here, so we'll open up a new folder in the Explorer, open up a new window in the Explorer, um, sound, and then a new one in here called banks, and then a new one in here, we'll just do the one for now called windows. Cool. And this is where we're going to put our stuff. So it's, we can see that it is visible in Game Maker Studio 2 as well. So perfect. That is the setup. I'm going to go away and make a really quick game and wise project just to show it working then. We're back. Okay, let me show you what I've got quickly. In WISE, I've got a very simple thing where if you play this event test sound, it gives you one of four random explosions. Cool. And I've set up all of the other stuff in here. I've got a audio manager object. And here, when it loads the banks, we can see where it's loading them from. So if we wanted, we could put them somewhere else, not in the... Uh, sound banks, windows, thing that we've got here. And if you want any other platforms, it'd be a good idea to pop them in here as well, in the same way that Mac and Windows appear. All right, um, I've got my wise explosion, wise event explosion event. And this is its ID. Its ID I took from here, event ID. All this other stuff we don't need, this is all copied from the sample project, as is explained, all of this stuff here in the manual. And then I've got a test object down here. Its name is test object. For some reason, you're, you're usually supposed to put a string in here as the, uh, the name of the object, and then the wise profiler will say which object has called the event. For some reason, there was an error when I did it earlier as a string, it was expecting something else. So I just, it still seems to work. And then if I press space, then the explosion will be called. So to generate the sound banks, um, go to the sound bank manager. I'm going to generate, I'm overriding the default. I'm generating it directly into my game maker project folder, data files, sound banks. Windows, I missed one. Okay, and it's all selected, let's go. Cool. Sound, banks, windows, here it all is, especially the uh, BNK, BNK, they're the important files. So our sound banks are generated. And um, final checks, I've commented out all this stuff because it's good to have just as a little reference. Um, in the room, we have the manager object and the test object. That's good. Smashing. All right then, there we have it. It works. It's a little bit fiddly, but once the initial setup is done, I think we're all good. All right then, so hopefully that was some kind of help. 
Give us a shout if you're working on anything with Wise and Game Maker. I'm curious to see what people are up to with it, although I'm not at all affiliated with either of them. Um, cheers. Hope that was helpful. <laughs>